we are the Lords Alliance, also known as the Council of Lords and the Lords Council. We are a collection of rulers from the free cities and towns across Faerun. Founded in the year of the Great Harvest, year 1325 DR, it was initially aimed at countering the trade house of Amn. At the time, Amn was strong-arming merchants along the Sword Coast. Anyone not willing to join with Athkla and their trade empire would quickly find their warehouses and shops visited by Am's enforcement guild, the Shadow Thieves. The Lord Alliance was able to counter the push from the south, but quickly found their list of problems growing. The Arcane Brotherhood of Luskin, the Zentarum from the east, and the Red Wizards of Thay from the far east all needed to be opposed. Today, the Lord's Alliance works to keep all these factions at bay and make sure that every member can trade safely and securely with their neighbor. We are a shining beacon of protection in these troubled times. However, it is important to remember that while lawful and good, the Alliance is primarily focused on keeping trade flowing and supporting laws and actions that improve trade. One of the most important aspects of what the Alliance does is patrol the local lands and staff garrisons in their member locations. Typically, even in towns and villages, the Alliance will support a garrison of around 30 soldiers. Of these, one third will be professional soldiers from the major cities, while the rest will be local militia who are trained and equipped by the Alliance. In the deep frontier, around half of these garrisons will usually be trained rangers, who are needed to patrol the more savage lands. Most city dwellers complain about their gold being ill-spent on grubby peasants, but these policies maintain a vital information flow between the cities and the frontier. While the Lord's Alliance is a loose collaboration at best, the Open Lords of Waterdeep is considered the overall ruler and arbiter in any disputes between members. As such, each city runs their own section of the Alliance and can hire and promote agents at its own discretion. When first joining, the applicant gains the rank of Cloak. This rank is frequently doled out for all missions the Alliance deems worthy. An urgent care package sent from Neverwinter to Waterdeep, give the courier the rank of cloak, and hand them a signet ring to get them easy passage. Due to the slack requirements of the cloak rank, it is seldom given much authority. Can anyone in Waterdeep really trust a cloak from Yatar? I think not. The rank above Cloak is known as Red Knife. These agents are given more resources and have more trust across the whole organization. Above this again you have the String Blade, a trusted agent that will be tasked with delicate missions and will usually be known outside the local Lord's Alliance outposts. After this we have the War Duke. These ranks are the trusted voice of the Alliance and will usually be charged with the most important and sensitive tasks. They will often be in command of local militia unless there is a Lion Crown present. The Lion Crown is the last rank and only reports to the local governing lord. They will usually be known to the entire Lord's Alliance and few agents ever gain this rank. While some organizations like the Harpers like to keep their presence hidden, the Lord's Alliance is decidedly open and gains influence by showing their presence. Agents are encouraged to wear their colors openly, displaying the Alliance's symbol in at least one clearly visible location. You will see merchant companies displaying the Golden Crown icon on their wagons and warehouses as a warning to bandits and other ruffians. The Alliance as a city organization is strongly civilization focused and can often come into fights with more natural forces because of this. They will also usually support established power and seldom support any upstart organizations that seek to overthrow that power, even if it's corrupt. The Alliance sees value in stability and control, so it does not make judgment calls on local powers if merchants can operate freely. It is for this reason that the Emerald Enclave is not allied with the Lord's Alliance, like the Harpers are. 
But if you believe in the goodness of civilization and the need for freedom and safety of sentient races, the Lord's Alliance shares your goals and wants your sword arm. Be honorable. Join today.